Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your soulmate reading. I had a feeling I was I had to do Capricorn, so I skipped I skipped many signs to do you today, okay? Um I don't know, my intuition is through the roof, so let's see what you guys need to hear. Remember, you're not going to connect every week. That's totally fine, my love. Leave it if it's not yours. Uh, and if you connect with what I say, please press a like and let me know in the comments below. I love connecting with my Capricorns. Okay, we have work through your fears. There's something that you might be anxious about, okay? Maybe you're thinking about a past person. Maybe things are kind of rough right now with the person you love. It could be so many things, okay? We'll see with the tarot. Let's just pick a major arcana to see the energy between you and your soulmate. Beautiful. We have the Hierophant, okay? You could be in a committed relationship. You can be married. You can be in a long term. Or you can be contemplating the idea of maybe... Uh, you know, one day marry the person you love. I never really talk about the Hierophant as a marriage card, wedding card, because it is such a powerful energy. It's so much more than that. Hierophant is the Taurus card. So earth sign like you, really grounded, really stable energy. And it's also a card of communication, of not getting influenced by other people when we have a choice to make. We are our own guru, we are our own uh, witch, our own intuitive. You don't have to find a guru, you don't have to, uh, you know, listen to all the tarot readings and try to make sense out of it. It's like, listen to yourself, my love, listen to you. You are your own master. Also really important when we see the Hierophant that we need to communicate how we feel. If you are going through fears, experiencing any type of fear within your relationship, make sure you communicate that to the person you love. Let's start with the tarot because this is really general energy. But trust me, anytime the Hierophant pops out in the reading, this is major luck. In my opinion, the luckiest card in the tarot. Okay, how does your soulmate feel about you right now? Wow, I have cups, four of wands. There's something about marriage, my love. If you are in a committed relationship and you've been talking about getting engaged, it might be now because there's the... It's weird. Okay, let's see. I lost the card, but let's see if it come out again. Okay, literally, there's going to be something to celebrate. Uh, the Chariot, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. I'm going to be honest, and I don't think I've never, I've ever said that before. It's not my type. Someone wants to marry you, Capricorn. <laughs> Someone is thinking about either asking you the big question. Uh, they've been thinking about it. They're trying to build up their self-confidence and find a good way to ask you. Uh, and maybe you're stressed out about that, okay? Capricorn is an energy. Uh, you guys really protect your boundaries and your energy. You don't just let anyone come in, okay? Um, so this person might be a little bit intimidated, even if they know you, even if... Um, they feel like you would, would say yes. For some reason, I'm feeling like this person is anxious. Um, it, it takes them a lot of courage and a lot of bravery to finally be able to ask you that. Listen, this is really general. It doesn't have to be about that. I'm just saying if you are in a long-term commitment or you just met... This person wants to marry you, definitely. And if it's not in a literal way, like giving you a ring and all that shit. It, it's like they want to make it official. They want you to be their one and only. This is really powerful stuff. And it's weird because I never, ever talk about the Hierophant being a wedding card. Even if traditional readers say that a lot, I never, ever say that. And I had to say it in the beginning. I had a feeling I should do Capricorn. So get ready. Some of you are going to be experiencing like crazy 
uh, emotions soon. I saw the Two of Cups popping out, soulmate card. How does Capricorn feel about this person? Hopefully you feel the same. <laughs> How does Capricorn feel about this person? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, you are intelligent. You are not the type of person to rush things. Uh, I feel like Capricorn, you're the kind of energy... You could be in a relationship years and years and years and not wait for a diamond ring, okay? Gender has no importance here. You are asking yourself a bunch of questions. I'm not saying you don't love this person. I'm saying that you are asking yourself, is it worth it? Even right now in this moment, while I'm saying that, this person might ask you to marry them, let's say, okay? Or whatever they want to ask you. How does it make you feel? I'm seeing a huge question mark. Someone being like, is it worth it? Should we spend the money on that? Uh, are, it feels like sometimes you guys fight, but not in a toxic, dramatic way. It's like two really different type of energy. Three of pentacles. Uh, <sighs> This is really interesting energy. Really interesting energy. You want to make... It's like you want to be sure that you're not just going to say yes to make this other person happy. You want it to come from you. You're trying to really uh, pause and see if it's what you really want. Wow. Okay. This is really intense energy, guys. What the heck? hell is happening three of swords there are difficult conversation that needs to happen three of swords is not necessarily about a broken heart my love okay maybe in the past you were engaged maybe someone did hurt you in the past and you're still carrying with you these wounds let's be honest okay Three of Swords is about bravery and it's about the difficult conversation that we need to have within a relationship so and see, we have three, three, three. Always with Capricorn, every freaking reading, there is three times an energy saying, first of all, that you are protected from someone who passed away, your angels. Uh, this person was meant to find you. They were meant to be in your life, definitely. Um, they helped you heal a broken heart. They helped you heal the wounds from the past. It's someone who gives you a lot of self-confidence and you feel like you are protected with them. Chances are this person is also really uh, intuitive, in tune with the divine, and they are also protected. I love that. I, I love every time I do a Capricorn reading, I have 333, 1111, 888. There's always something magical about you guys. And I say it a lot. We don't give Capricorn enough credit for how intuitive and how connected with the divine you are. Like a lot of Capricorn I know, uh, they don't even talk about how intuitive they are. But they really are. Okay, give me an energy in the middle. What connects you and your soulmate? What is the energy in the middle of everything? Seven of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this is someone who makes you feel calm. They make you feel love. They make you feel at peace with yourself. There is a lot of attraction, but I don't feel like sex is necessarily the root and the foundation of this relationship. It's bigger than that. It, it's not like just... Uh, it's, there's nothing superficial about your love for this person. This is deep, sacred, forever love. It's not bullshit. And that's why you want to take your time. That's why you want to make sure that you saw all the perspective, okay? And I don't know why I'm seeing that. Uh, intuitively, I'm hearing, I'm so hard to live with. <laughs> the Capricorns, I have goosebumps saying that. The Capricorn saying, I am so difficult, I'm so hard to live with. Uh, are you aware of the type of energy you want to commit to? Okay, so maybe there's something from your past that you're not completely over 
uh, from maybe you're not completely healed from a past relationship, uh, there is something, there is something, and it could be a lot about your ego also, uh, a lot about your freedom. There's something that even if you're in a committed relationship, you want to feel free for some reason. It's weird. Yeah, I'm hearing I am my own soulmate. Someone understanding that no matter what, even if they are in a committed relationship, even if they say yes to someone asking them to marry them, I think that you know you're your own soulmate, Capricorn. I have major goosebumps right now. Okay, really particular reading as always, Capricorn. Oh, you guys, Nine of Cups. Give me clarity on the Nine of Cups. The lover's card. This person loves you so much, Capricorn. They love you more than you can ever love them. I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't think you necessarily believe that or know that, okay? Maybe you need, like, more proof in actions. Maybe this person loves to talk, talk, talk and say how much they love you. And... Maybe there's a part of you who wants more and it's okay. You're a human being. You're not a bad person for wanting more. But this person loves you. You know, you are their dream come true, literally. Give me clarity on the chariot. Give me clarity on the chariot. Three of wands. This person is ready, like right now. They would marry you tomorrow morning, my love. Three of Wands is like, I'm ready. The soup is ready. I want to eat that shit, okay? Two of Wands is like cooking, preparing a meal. And the Three of Wands is like, we're eating that shit, okay? Um, it's not that they're in a rush. It's just that there is no question in their mind. You are the one, Capricorn. And I feel like you're going through a lot emotionally. Transforming, working on your body, your mind, your soul, healing something from the past, doing a lot of work on yourself. And it feels like this person is going to pop the question out of the blue and you're like, oh shit, give me a moment. Okay, it's not that I don't love you, but I love myself more. Right now, my self-love is more important than anything. Three of Cups. Give me clar clarity on the Three of Cups. Strength card beautiful energy this person they are willing to change the things that are not working with themselves they want to be perfect for you they want to be perfect for you uh maybe your person dealt with like a difficult ex in the past someone who always come back uh either trying to be friends trying to this and that and they're they had to be um really careful they had to use their strength and their bravery uh first of all to to get you for some reason to pop the question definitely someone wants to, wants to ask you to marry them it's so weird that i'm focusing on that but this person has a difficult past also maybe they were married before maybe they had kids before with someone else or a long-term relationship that ended in the past and they never love someone like they love you. It's crazy. This person loves you so much. You make them feel confident. Yeah, this is what I'm hearing. Five of wands on your side, my love. Yeah. When I'm saying that there's difficult conversation that needs to happen, listen. Queen of Sword is the survivor of the tarot, in my opinion. She's been through loss. She's, she's been grieving in the past. She... She wants honesty before anything else. And I'm going to be honest. I feel like a part of you doubt your person's honesty when it comes to certain things. Okay. Not saying they're a liar. They love you. I, I don't feel like this is a person who is not honest or whatever. But it's I'm hearing I want more. I need more. Three of pentacles oh and see we have another three here three 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 like how magical is that shit i never get that with other signs it's always you capricorn clarifying the three of pentacles hermit 
You could be dealing with a Virgo, but it doesn't have to. Virgo energy is being really aware of who we give our time, our love to. Also, you're not in a rush. You don't know what's going to happen in a year, in two years. All you know is what you're doing right now today. Your healing journey, your personal growth, the things you're doing for yourself. This is what's important to you right now. I'm here again. I love me more. I have to put myself first. I have to learn how to put myself first before anything. Uh, it's okay to not know what you want. Oh my God, another three almost popped out. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> this is crazy. You definitely have angels protecting you, my love. See, we have an angel here, all the three popping out. There is something about Capricorn just connecting to the divine, connecting to a past person who is always with you, always with you, protecting you. And you know that, you feel them. Uh, I'm seeing someone who is having dreams, uh, recurrent dreams about a past person, someone who passed away, and this is how they communicate with you through your dreams. And also I'm seeing butterflies. Weird. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, like I was saying, you don't know what you want necessarily for the future. You want to learn to live day by day. You're starting to feel really comfortable with yourself, with your physical body, with your spirituality. And you don't want to rush anything. And I'm feeling like for some of you, it's like, I don't need a diamond ring to prove that I love you. I don't need to get married to prove that, okay? Three of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. I think that you're going to end up saying yes, my love. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do, of course. I'm just a girl reading cards, but... I think that you're going to have your happy ending. I can't stop smiling right now. And I just know you're the queen of the castle. Gender has no important here, okay? Uh, you're the boss at the end of the day. I don't care if that person act like they are the boss of you or, you know, just in a funny way. Uh, you are the boss in that situation. Respect your limits. Listen to yourself. And the queen of pentacles a lot how we receive love. If you have someone asking you to marry them and it freaks you out, you're going to have to ask yourself, why am I so uncomfortable receiving love from other people? Where does that come from? Do you feel like you lack love in your past uh, when you were a child or in a past relationship? Uh, there's a lot of things to ask yourself. You are in that journey of healing and understanding your relationship with give and take when it comes to love. But you're on the right track, my love. You're on the right track. And let me clarify the middle energy. We have I saw the I saw the wheel of fortune and it left my hand. We have the four of one the four of swords. So healing, prioritizing yourself in your healing. This person is not going anyway. Anywhere, they love you no matter what. And I feel like if right now you feel like your self-care, your self-love is more important than, than anything. In the beginning, I was really intense on you're your own guru, your own soulmate, your own master. It's really important that you keep on vibing with that energy. This person is not going anywhere. This is your forever person. Again, I think they're going to be popping the question or they're going to want to expand the relationship in some way. Moving in together, traveling together, building something together. Maybe a talk of having kids, adopting a pet for all I know. But there is something, okay? You respect your energy. You stay focused on your healing, your transformation, and just learn how to receive that beautiful love. You deserve it, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, I love you to the moon and back. You know you have a special place in my heart and I'm, I'm serious when I say that. Thank you for being here with me. Let me know if you relate in any way and I'll talk to you guys in a couple days with your weekly reading. Bye-bye.